previously on the Virtual Shelling Network. Hey guys! All right, so we just jumped off of the Treasure Seeker Shell Tour boat. This is just such a fun place to shell. I love coming out on shell tours because you're able to get to places that you normally would not be able to get to shelling. So let's see what we can find up in this shell pile here. Okay, so let's see, we've got, I was gonna give them a shell. We've got a nice shark eye and a juvenile fighting conch. And we've got a nice big horse conch here. Look at this, holy moly, that's a big one. And this is a shell pile that you probably literally could stay in all day and find a bunch of fun shells. Ooh, is that a true tulip? Look at this. Beautiful true tulip. Wow, it is perfect. It is empty. It is gorgeous. Oh, look what I see. You guys see it? I see it. Oh, wow, look at this beautiful true tulip. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. Let's get down. There is a beautiful angel wing. Perfect, beautiful angel wing. There's another lace murex right here. What else you can find? Oh look, here's another really big murex. Look at this one. Holy cow. That's huge. That's huge. Here's a, a little angel wing here. And we've got nutmeg. Look at the nutmeg here. A pretty nutmeg. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what I found. I found a scotch bonnet! Oh my god! Finally, this is a bucket list shell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited right now. Oh my god. Look. How pretty! I'm so excited. Can you guys see the faint little spots it has right there? Oh my gosh, bucket list shell for me. I'm so excited. This is such a great shell day. A little Sunray Venus. Let me make sure nobody's in here because I don't want to take it home if it's got anybody in there, whether they are alive or not. So, here's another tulip. Here's another Murex. There's a big tool up here. Beautiful. Oh, look how pretty this top is with that beautiful dark point on it. Wow. down I could just stay there all day so I'm gonna come over here and just kind of check out what else is here it's like I know there is a Genonia here it's just a matter of like somebody finding it because this shelling is crazy look at this beautiful conch and pattern look at the pattern on that that is beautiful so when you come here that's kind of a tip I'll give you guys is put yourself in the mindset of Whatever shell it is you want to find, whether it's a Genonia or a Scotch Bonnet or um, whatever it is, giant horse conch, whatever, you have to say, it's here. I just have to find it. Because somebody is going to find it, right? Somebody will find it. It's just a matter of who. So you have to put yourself in that mindset of it is here. It's not a question of like, is there a Genonia here? There is a Genonia on this beach. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. It's just a matter of finding it right so we're gonna look through this kind of high rack line here um, like there's just so many shells so we're just gonna kind of see it's really pretty well what we've got going on here look at this look at this big beautiful let me get the sand out big beautiful horse conch look at that look at the color on that that is gorgeous and then here we have a really pretty tulip let me try to get the, get the sand out of that too look at those just those two right here beautiful oh and here 
look at this gaudy, guys. Oh my god, look how big. Beautiful. So we're gonna say that for sure there's a Genonia here and we're gonna find one today. Let's see, let's see if we can. Maybe we won't, but we're gonna say that we can. There's a really pretty drill. There's a little lace murex. The turbo. And here's the, that truck guy is kind of broken. Here's a nice whelk. Look at these shells, seriously. It's like crazy here today. It's like everywhere you look, there's shells. And we haven't even gotten up to that pile yet. Let's try to see what gets caught up here. Because you guys clearly saw that that scotch bonnet was like up there in the mangrove. So stuff gets caught up here and you just have to kind of look and see. And you have to keep your eyes open because sometimes stuff is Oops, buried too. Oh, look at this top. This top's really pretty. And just remember, just because like you're looking up here where their shells just kind of spread out like this, it doesn't mean that there's not stuff like underneath, you know? Here's a whelk that I wouldn't have seen if I didn't move this stuff around so oops I just broke my piece of this wood so sometimes you have to just like move the shells around and make sure there's nothing underneath all that like, look at this tulip I almost walked right by it it's a little bit buried but look how pretty and look how big that's a beautiful tulip let's see if I can get some more sand out of there look how pretty that is Look at all the angel wings here. Who loves angel wings? One, two, three. Oh, that one's broken. We get two. A ginormous turbo right here. Holy cow. It's a piece of a true tulip. So we already know the true tulips are here. Oh, and look right here is little baby angel wing. Little baby ones here. very cute they are. Hopefully they make it back in my shell bag. They're another really fragile shell. There's another great place for angel wings. So like I said, like we don't find angel wings like on Sanibel very often or there's certain places that they're just more abundant. So you have to keep that in mind too when you're shelling is where you are and what's abundant on that beach or in that in that area. And clearly here angel wings are super abundant so I'm gonna pick up all that I can here okay so we're gonna come down to like the second well so we have like we have kind of two rack lines here we have, we have a faint one here and we have a good one here and then I just shelled that one up there so I'm gonna kind of come back to where I started and let's see what we have here look at this pretty well this is a really dark pretty well right here there's a sand dollar right here too Look at all the tulips. Tulip. 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 Oh my gosh, Tulip City. Tulip City and Angel Wings. That is what we've got going on here. Let's see what else we can find. Look at this ginormous shark eye. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. It's perfect. It is perfect and it is empty. Look at that one, holy cow. That's a big one. I don't usually find big shark eyes like that. That's a treat. Here's another big turbo. Turbos are interesting color here. They're very tan, very light. Oh, look. Oh, what do we have? Hold on, I can't see with the glare. Can you guys see this in the camera? I'm losing my, uh, I'm probably losing my mind. Am I in the focus of that true tulip? I think so. I have my glasses on and it's just the glare is so crazy that I can't see my screen. So I'm trying to keep it focused. So I apologize if I go 
out of Okusan, you guys. Here's another shark eye. Like, this is the normal size shark eyes that I usually find. But that other one was just huge. And here's another little, well, it's broken, but again, you can turn it to the side and you won't even know. The horse conch there. Oh, this looks like a great little, little shell spot here going on. Got a big whelk just laying out there. So sometimes they're laying out, right? Like, look at this. This little horse conch is laying out. This little conch's laying out. They're just laying out there saying, pick me up. But other times, it's not that simple. You've got to look. You've got to hunt. Okay, so here. we we'll kind of go down here. Okay, there's a gaudy nautica. Can you spot it? It's hidden right here. Cute little gaudy. There's a top. Do you guys see the top? Right here, kind of hiding too. You've got to just train your eye. And then there's a true tulip and a top. So I'll let you guys take a second to see if you can find it. We'll do the top first. It's right here, hidden. And let's see if you guys can spot the true tulip. It might be broken, it might be a piece, I don't know, but it's right here. There's a little piece buried in the sand. Let's see if, if it's whole or not. Oh, it might be whole. Oh, and it's bigger than I thought, too. Whoa. Okay, we gotta go rinse this one off. Let's go down and rinse off this one. Holy pretty shell. I'm like, we haven't even started in the brake line. And you guys know the brake line's my favorite place to shell. Look at that true tulip. That is gorgeous. Woo, woo. So I know this is probably gonna be hard for you guys to see. So while I'm down here, I just rinsed off my tulip. Um, <laughs> We're gonna kind of see what we see in the brake line. This is a place that I could literally shell at all day. Drop me off and pick me up tomorrow, right? So, let me see if I can... I might not be able to see this on camera because it's gonna be really tough for you guys to see. But I'm gonna try to turn this way. Nice to see. Okay, look, here's a big tour. Oh, I missed it. Where is it? Did I get it? No, I didn't. So it's hard when it's wavy like this because you have to be quick. And having a net or a scoop, which neither of which I brought with me today, shame on me, um, neither of which I have today will help you. This is a tulip right here. Oh, we got a twofer. We got a little bit of a true, and then we've got um, a banded. And I just thought I saw an alphabet cone too, but. Heaven knows if I'll be able to do that again. Let's see. It's right around here. Um, so I'm just going to hold my phone here and shell so you guys can hopefully see a little bit of what I'm seeing as I shell here. Orange, orange, orange cone. It's a little Florida cone here. And the water just got a little bit still. So when the water gets still like that, like the waves kind of take a little bit of a break, use that to your advantage and scope out the shells that you see so you can grab them. I know I saw an alphabet cone. I know I did. Some more tulips here. Tulips, tulips. There it is. Tulip nutmeg. Very nice. I'll show you guys the waves. So they're not super, it's not super wavy, but it's just wavy enough that sometimes it's hard to see. See that horse comp right here? It was 
Ooh, is it alive? I don't know. No, it's not. Look at this. Wow, beautiful. We've got such great shells here. Such great shells. Ooh, this is a big, this is a big well. Look at that. Kind of buried down there. Beautiful well. My, my shell bag is filling up extremely quickly here. Always bring backup shell bags. There's a piece of the king crown floating around here. There's a really shiny olive. I always appreciate a nice shiny olive. There's a top. I can grab it. And there's a gaudy. Or a piece of one, piece of a gaudy. Ooh, look at this. You see this nutmeg right here? Look how big. Big giant nutmeg. This is such a great shell day. Holy cow. All right, I'm coming back to find that alphabet code because I know I felt it. I don't know if I'll be able to ever find it again, but shiny olive too. Let's see if we can grab that one. Let's see if we can see if the water clears a little bit. It's so hard when you see a shell because the water moves everything and then you kind of lose sight of it. So sometimes if I come on the other side so the waves are crashing up on the beach, I can sometimes see things rolling back to me a little bit easier. Right here. I don't see that big olive though. Ooh, I see a big gaudy. This right here. That barn will come off and that'll be a gorgeous shell. Look at that one. Wow. Beautiful. Sometimes I get faked out because I'll see a leaf and I'll think it's a shell. It'll be like a big orange leaf. And I'm like, oh my gosh, is that a big orange tulip? And then I was like, oh no, it's just a leaf. <laughs> oh, here's a big shark eye right here. Let's see if I can see where it went. And here's a nutmeg. Another nutmeg. That was a big shark eye, like humongous. That's definitely the hard thing about shelling the brake line that a lot of people get frustrated because you see a shell and then like it's gone. And sometimes you have to wait a little bit. I hope you guys can see. I can't really see my screen, so I might have to edit this video. Look how pretty that Florida, um, Florida conk is. Oh, Florida, sorry, don't know, I'm losing it. I'm trying to focus and I can't talk to them. I know a lot of you the same way. Let's see, so I'm just looking right here. There's so many shells right here. Like if you had a net and you could just reach down and pick up shells, you would be golden. But I have to rely on my eyeballs and the waves. There's a couple big tulips here if I can grab them. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys, I know that it's something, oh my gosh, the alphabet cone, do you see it? Do you see the alphabet cone? Look, 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 do you see it? I'm gonna grab it so I don't lose it. Look how pretty, look how gorgeous that is. Wow. So I know that this might seem like really frustrating for some of you because it's really hard to see on camera. But that's just all the more reason to book a tour and come out so you can do this in person. And I'm literally showing you what to look for and how to do it. So you will be successful coming out on a tour and finding all these awesome shells. I'm going to come back up to that rack line that I was at. Um, so we kind of did this one a little bit. There's even a higher one up here. But we're going to stick to the one that's right here. Because again, I know, I just wanted to show you guys how I shell the brake line because it's my personal favorite way 
to shell and place to shell um, when I can. But I want you guys to know that like the rack lines, I mean shells are gonna be up here too. Like I don't, oh my God, is that an angel wing? Shut the front door. No, it's not. Is it really? I think this might be the biggest angel wing I've ever seen. I mean, that thing has traveled. Look at all the barnacles on it. I mean, that is giant. It's the size of my hand. That is huge. All right, we got to take that guy because that's special. That's a treasure. Um, but I wanted to just show you guys, like, you don't have to get in the water or shell the brake line or, you know, maybe you're somebody that, you know, can't really bend over as much. And trust me, like, as I get older, I can't either. So I get it but this is still a great place to shell. And you can also have those little scoopers. I think they're actually used to like pick up golf clubs or golf balls. They're like a little metal basket on the end. And you can use those to kind of help you pick up shells so you don't have to bend over as much. I should take my own advice and definitely try to invest in one of those. But if you guys can see like, there's so many shells, you know? I can't help but pick up the tulips. There's some shells that I pass up because, I don't know, I'm just like, whatever. I just can't pick them all up, do you know what I mean? And, and I don't need to. I, I try to leave shells for other people, other shellers, but a lot of you ask me, why aren't you picking up all of them? I don't need all of them. Um, but, you know, I pick up what catches my eye. You know, a nice shiny olive catches my eye. If you dig around in here, I know you're gonna find stuff in here. Oh, look, here's another true tulip just sitting here. Look at that, beautiful, just sitting here. And here's a banded. Looks like it might have a crab in there though, I don't know. Yeah, I'll leave that one. And then here's a little top. And another giant auger. Here's a shark eye. I mean, there's so many fun shells just right here. And you could literally throw down a beach chair or a beach towel and just sit here and shell because there's so much to look at. Look at all the little tiny angel wings. I mean, I'm not even picking all of these up, but I just, I know they won't make it back in my shell bag, but look at the cute little baby angel wings. I mean, so cute. So many shells to find. And lots of driftwood, so lots of driftwood. If you're a driftwood person, um, I would bring a separate bag maybe for your driftwood if you're if you want to pick a lot of that up just so it doesn't poke through your shell bag um, or to, or honestly take up room in your shell bag you want to fill your shell bag with shells not wood so that's just a tip for you guys bring just another bag it can be any bag oh look at this this big oh it's just a chunk but that would have been really pretty I mean so many gorgeous shells Here's a piece of sea pork that got its wings. A sea, park, a piece, sea pork is a trunicate. So it is a piece of sea life and it's got two angel wings attached here. We're gonna leave that. I feel like that's bad juju if I, if I take a wing of a, I don't know. We're just gonna leave it at that. Here's a really pretty nutmeg. My husband's gonna be thrilled. He loves nutmeg. Look at this beautiful tulip. This is a ginormous tulip. Look how pretty. It feels a little bit heavy to me, but it might just be filled with sand, but I don't see anybody in there. Oh yeah, it's just packed with sand in there. Look how pretty that is. So a lot of times your shells will have a bunch of sand in there, and when you get home, you just gotta rinse, 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 rinse. Don't do it in your sink though, because your plumber will hate you if you put all of that down the drain. It will ruin your sink, so don't do that. There's a gorgeous olive. So we have olive, a really pretty whelk, a really pretty conch, tulip, tulip. There's another tulip, a little piece of a nutmeg, duck clam, all right in a row, right here. I mean, holy cow, right? What else do we have over here? Oh, this is a really pretty conch. Conchs are another one. I try not to pick up like every one I see, but every once in a while you find one that's super light or super dark or has a cool pattern on them. And they're really fun to pick up. Let's see, here's a nice little 
banded tulip buried in the sand there. And here, Gaudi. I've never found so many Gaudi nauticas in my entire life. So it's refreshing to find some. There's another angel wing and there's some more tulips down there. There's a really pretty conch. Beautiful blondie. I just can't get over like all the shelves, but this is what happens when we have a storm. And I will say all the time, and I will remind you guys all the time that this is why I'm a summer sheller. Summer storms come in, we have crazy winds, crazy waves. They blow everything around. They cover shells, they uncover shells. They blow up shell piles up onto the beach. We have these beautiful shells that come in. I mean, look at the shell piles. You could literally spend all day here and not be able to pick up all of the shells that are here. Look at this beautiful Apple Gorgeous. So 100%, I recommend getting on a shell tour, coming down, spending the day, you get a really great boat ride out of it too, by the way. So like, I don't know about you guys, but just being on a boat makes me so happy. It's so relaxing and fun. Captain Tammy is an excellent boat driver. And you will just have so much fun just the boat ride alone. It's like so worth it. You get to see, you know, there's wildlife and dolphins. And sometimes you'll see a manatee, which is always a treat. And you can see shells like this as well because just buried in there. Now that's a broken one, but this might be, oh, that's a broken one too. You just don't know. Sometimes they're whole, sometimes they're not whole. You just gotta look around. And when I found my Genonia, I was out here with Tammy on a tour and it was buried. It was totally buried. And I only saw, just like with that true tulip back there, a tiny little piece of it, almost like this. Only this is a, a leopard crab shell. But it was a tiny little piece that looked like a genonia. And when I unburied it, it was whole. So, look at all these. We've got tulips. Another tulip. Another tulip. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's a little alphabet cone I see hiding. Let's see if you guys can find the alphabet cone. I'll give you a minute. See if you guys can spot it. It's really kind of hidden and it's got some barnacles on it here on the bottom. So it makes it hard to see, but here it is. Cute little alphabet. I love finding alphabet cones. And that's one of the shells that I will pick up if it doesn't even have any more letters on it. It can be the ugliest, most beat up, worn, broken alphabet cone ever. And I will still pick it up because I love them. Here's a pretty little scallop. Here's a beautiful bright orange Florida cone. All right, guys, I hope you had so much fun on this episode of virtual shelling with treasure seeker shell tours. It has just been so much fun walking this beach. Um, check out the wildlife in the background. You can see right up here, I'll try to see if I can zoom in on that for you, um, is a sea turtle nest. So sometimes um, when you're walking, you'll see some sea turtle nests. It is just beautiful here. It is just such a gorgeous day. The water is beautiful. So we started out way down here and we've shelled the different rack lines and we've shelled the break lines. So hopefully you guys got a good taste of what it looks like to shell here. So if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you again next time right here on the Virtual Shelling Network. Bye-bye.